So we are Team Purple. My name is Kyle. This is Tony, Bobby, Jacob, and Eric. And our goal here today is to sell to you the idea that the persuasion techniques along with communication styles that we will speak on today will be used in order to create a more inclusive business environment for women within the workplace of CBS Health. These techniques and styles include promoting and implementing structured meeting environments along with creating a set of guidelines to follow during meetings. Guidelines such as involving ideas, um, idea sharing and turn taking. While the rest of the group will be diving in and teaching you how these techniques will improve the business environment and promote more productivity and inclusion within CVS's workplace. All right, so you need to use some persuasion techniques to convince your managers and to convince your employees to accept this idea and to have higher engagement among your employees so that they support uh, the decisions that you're making. Two tools that we think are very useful for this are social proof and consistency. Uh, social proof, in 1983, for example, they did a study in uh, South Carolina where they went door to door looking for donations for uh, a charity campaign and they found that uh, the longer the list of neighbors that they were able to provide, uh, the higher the chances that people would donate. Uh, for consistency, using consistency, you have to provide, you have to get active and uh, written or verbal agreement or engagement for your, from your employees to have uh, higher chances of engagement down the line. So uh, a study in Israel in 1982, I believe it was, um, where they had a large uh, apartment complex. They got half the people to sign a petition for a recreation center for handicapped people. And the half of the people that didn't sign a petition beforehand, there was about a 51% uh, engagement rate for the donation. And the people that did sign the petition, uh, there was about a 92% engagement rate. So uh, social proof and consistency are tools that could be very useful to convince your management to accept these ideas. Building from the research that you've been presented here, we're also wanting to talk to you about the linguistic styles and how they differ between the different genders that we see. This is backed by the research done by Tannen, and it's a major role in how people perceive the world around them and especially the environments they're involved in. So, we're wanting to give you the power to create a more productive and inclusive work environment by being aware of these factors. And some of these factors include the way that women speak, specifically that women are assumed to be stereotypically more passive, nurturing, and intuitive and group-oriented, while men are generally assumed to be more assertive, competitive, and logical in their arguments. So for a specific example of how these linguistic styles may differ, women may be asking for more feedback within group meetings and things like that, which may be perceived as less confident, but it should not be, as this is trying to clarify and it is a linguistic style that has been trained from a young age. And we should not assume competency or confidence based on these differences in linguistic styles. As you can tell from the information that Tony and Bobby both presented, these linguistic styles are very important when trying to streamline communication at a firm. Um, one strategy that we think is very effective or uh, helping to level the playing field for men and women is uh, turn-taking techniques to be implemented in the meetings. And uh, really giving the chance for the women to passively get involved in the conversation that would traditionally be more um, taken over by the assertive uh, communication styles of men. And uh, Eric is going to walk you through how some of these techniques might be used um, in the workplace setting. Okay, so tying back to that idea of the turn-taking techniques, it's very important to tie back to the idea of consistency. Before you implement these meetings, you're going to want to talk with your team, make sure everybody is on board with this idea, and that they commit to this idea, whether through an email, or through verbal commitment, or even through signing some sort of document that everybody in your immediate team works on. Also, another idea we had was, it's very important that you get the female executives and female managers at CBS involved with this process, as female employees tend to look up more towards other female employees. So we recommend that you work with your female executives and female managers to implement a training practice that allows female employees to kind of learn the communication skills necessary in a business environment. And on the flip side, we recommend that they also share with their male colleagues these same techniques so everybody's on an even playing field. Thank you for your time. Well, what do you think? 
I got any questions? You guys have been thinking about how we can make this happen. I thought it was interesting to the point about uh, feedback being more of a feminine linguistic style. I know in the entrepreneurial world, feedback is everything. I'm interested. I think that's really changing. So I, I agree with uh, implementing feedback in, in the turn-taking meeting styles. With your company down 8% today due to poor quarter losses and 10% over the past year, how is this going to improve your company? Well, people want to see that our company cares about our female employees to begin with. So taking these actions will allow people to see that, you know, maybe instead of being 100% focused on, oh no, we lost money, it's how can we better ourselves in the future to provide a better return on investment for our investors and our clients. Especially in tough times, uh, employees like to see higher management and executives where you put in the effort to support employees, and that's how you get loyalty from your employees. We're down how much? 8%. 8%? What the hell? In one day. Good God. The market? What's it doing? What's going on, people? Come on, we're in the healthcare industry. We sell drugs. Why would we be losing money? The whole market is down 4% over the year. But we're only down, and we're down 8%. Yeah. Uh, that makes it a little more palatable. Thank you. Good move. Nice.